So you're wanting to connect your PS4 controller to your iPhone for some mobile gaming. Well, no worries, it's easy peasy and I'm going to show you how to do that coming up. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne and recently I did a video showing you how to connect your Xbox controller to your iPhone and if you'd like to check that video out then make sure you click this card right here. Now let's jump right in and show you how to connect your PS4 controller to your iPhone. So the first thing that you'll need to do is open up your iPhone and go to your settings menu. Then you'll want to make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on. Once it's turned on, you'll need to go over to your PS4 controller and you'll hold down the power button and the share button at the same time. You'll know your controller is ready to pair when you see those flashing lights. You'll need to go back over to your phone and you'll scroll down and then you should see that your controller is ready to pair. Simply click on the option and now you should see that the DualShock is paired with your iPhone. Now the next thing you may want to do is close that and go pick out a game. Now not all games will be able to be played with your controller but if it is you can pick one of these games and you can give it a test and as you can see here I am scrolling through the menu so we are all set and ready to go. And that's how you connect your PS4 controller to your iPhone uh, and there are a few things that I do need to let you know about that connection but before we get to that folks if you found value in this video please make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Okay, so back to the things that you need to know. Uh, one of the first things you want to make sure is that you're running the newest uh, iOS 13 or newer software. So you can do that by going to your settings tab and then just scroll down here to your general tab and then you'll go to about and right here it should say the software version. So mine, I'm running 13.6.1. You need to run at least 13.0 or higher for this to work. Now, you'll want to make sure that when you're done playing with your PS4 controller that you actually turn it off. So if you notice here, your light is still showing, which means the PS4 controller is still connected to the iPhone. And if you don't turn it off, then you're going to be continually using the battery, which means the next time that you go to play your game, you may not have any battery left or you'll have very little battery life left. So you want to make sure that you disconnect the controller from the phone by swiping down, clicking on your Bluetooth, and then you want to find it here and then simply swipe over and then you should notice that it just turned off. Okay, and lastly, if you're looking to connect your PS4 controller back to your console, you'll want to make sure that you find the original cable that came with your console or your controller. Or if you happen to have another one that will fit this laying around, you'll just want to make sure you use that. You'll want to plug it into your console and then plug the other side into the back of the controller. And once you've done that, you should be connected. Now, if you are having a little bit of trouble with it, it's giving you a bit of a fit. There is a hard reset button right here on the back of the controller. You'll want to just use a paper clip or some sort of pin or something to get in there. Do a hard reset on your controller and then you'll use that cable yet again uh, to get it connected. And as you just saw, it is pretty easy to connect your controller to your phone or to your console back and forth. So you'll be able to switch whenever you need. And with that, folks, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.